So we are now reaching the point where we're going to talk about lesson three, which is financial values. And the kind of the focus of this is going to be just discussing the difference between needs versus wants and really what financial goals really end up being uh, for individuals. So here are a couple of examples of financial goals. Um, these goals could be, you know, pretty lofty, like buying a home or buying a car. Uh, but you can also have goals of donating money. Um, you know, lots of people that are um, have some money or are very, very wealthy like to give their money away. Um, saving en enough money for a comfortable life. I think that's kind of a goal of most individuals. Uh, but maybe it's a short-term goal, like buying a gaming system or maybe something else that you'd like to have. Um, talks here about making money by investing in uh, the stock market or paying for college tuition. So we all have goals that we want to have of what we want to do with money. And I think part of this is, is determining uh, what our goals should be. Um, you know, you got to have a plan. You think about really lots of things in life, whether you play sports or you're in band. Um, there's a plan, right? You learn the piece of music and you practice and you practice and you practice so that you can perform it well. And the same is true of sports, right? You practice and practice and practice so you perform well. So having a plan uh, for your financial situation is an important component as well. So short-term goals are exactly what they sound like. They are can be reached rather quickly, maybe in just a few weeks or months. Um, this is probably more the kind of financial goals that you would have when you're saving for some sort of small purchase that you'd like to make. Maybe you're saving up for a new video game that just came out, uh, and so you're saving money that way. Long-term financial goals can take a lot longer. They could take many years um, to save. They could even take decades. If you think about a person saving for retirement, uh, they're going to have to save over a longer period of time. So here are just a couple of three easy ways of how to reach financial goals. Um, so first you have to decide, is it a need or a want? Uh, if it's a need, then seem, it seems more immediate, uh, something that you really need to work hard and aggressive at saving for uh, because it's something you really do need. If it's a want, then you know it's something that maybe you could have down the road someday, uh, but maybe uh, you're not going to have to save as aggressively for that. One of the goals for one of the ways to achieve financial goals is just to prioritize saving over spending, and this really kind of comes back to needs versus wants. Uh, you're just going to have to be able to tell yourself no for certain purchases. That way, you have some money left to save. If you constantly just find something else to buy, you're never going to have any money to save um, to reach some of those financial goals. And another thing that we should talk about here is that not all savings options. Are exactly the same so when I say savings you probably think of like a bank savings account and that's an okay way of saving but we'll talk about interest rates a little bit later on and savings accounts at a bank don't produce very good interest rates um, sometimes it's as low as like 0.1 percent uh, you know that's not really a lot even if you're investing a lot of money um, so there are other things things like stocks uh, which have to do with the success of businesses and that money is invested in. and then there's mutual funds there's 401ks there's lots of different styles of investments and you know this class is not really designed that we can get into all those specifics but just know that uh, there are people out there that can help you with investments um, and the savings account is a great way right now when you're young to save but as you get older and start your first job you'll want to look, start looking into other ways that you could save towards more uh, lofty financial goals, such as retirement. So one of the big things that I really want you to focus on here is needs versus want. And needs meet the most basic needs in life. So these are things like housing, so some kind of shelter, your utilities, so like keeping your electric bill going, electric, electricity going, and your water going. You know, it takes, it takes money to be able to do those things. So those are needs. Um, but once would be like maybe saving for a vacation and something that's not going to be essential um, that you can do. I mean, obviously, people like vacations and they're relaxing and they're enjoyable and rejuvenating. But as far as it considering a need, it's, it's not really a need. And I think sometimes we get our um, we get some things a little bit mixed up sometimes. I mean, maybe, we, you know, I have a car. Uh, one of my cars is a little bit older 
and so I think of it as a need to get a new car, but that really probably would be falling into more of a want. Uh, so some of these things kind of fall somewhere in between, like a cell phone, you know, in some ways you approach it, it could be kind of more of a need. Um, I don't have a home phone at my house, so I kind of need a cell phone as a way to communicate with people. But at the same time, I could even survive without a phone. It's not an essential uh, type thing. So I think there's some kind of gray areas in the middle between the two. Um, so really just establishing what is a need and a want, I think, is one of the best ways that we can learn to save because we'll be able to say, you know, this is not something that I need right now and I can wait. Maybe one day I'll have that. But right now I want to concentrate on uh, saving my money or making these other purchases. And so one of the activities I'm going to have you do is related to identifying your own needs and wants uh, in your life. Um, so that's just going to kind of really wrap it up here. And I think I, mean, I wanted to keep this video fairly short um, just as a good introduction to what a financial goal is and how we can set those. Thanks for watching.